smoking weed, talking about the grease. Who will follow me? Like, who don't follow me? Cause even in your neighbor, I can see a lot of me. And honestly, I'm on it, cause that should be comedy. You ain't put me in no brands, but I see you proud of me. I'm just a real lad bit. Give a fuck about a trick. I'm so real. button sis and if you're not new welcome back poo so make sure y'all hit that notification button so y'all always be notified when i make a video so today i'm showing y'all how i did this beginner friendly install without ghost bond or bold hole lace it's a cheaper product with the same great hole what lace sis like what we're there come on and I'm going to be doing, giving y'all this review on this hair by My Fashion Hair on Amazon. So, you need some type of alcohol substance. You need speed wipes. So, don't cut a straight line. Do six bags. I feel like it's just gonna work just as good. So this is gonna help you get that flat even surface that I want. Is you can put it all over like you see I did and just do it, layer it section by section, one ear, the middle, then the other ear. Or you could just put the um the stuff on at your ear, lay that lace down, and then move on, lay the glue down, and then the lace down. Or you could do it all in one like I did, and I found this to be a lot easier, but like, you got to be patient and take your time, because if you don't, it's not going to work out, and you're going to be frustrated. I have to take my advice. I have did this several times. And it only worked when I was patient and wasn't in a rush. So if you're in a rush, just stop because you're going to mess it up and you're going to be mad at yourself. Using the back of a comb or like I'm using a paintbrush or an old popsicle stick and laying it down so you have smooth, even layers. That's the important key. It needs to be even and it needs to be a little bit. You see, I used a lot. But for me, <laughs> that works. So you do it how you feel comfortable. And just, like, go over it at, with the end of whatever instrument you're using. Don't use your fingers because you might have some type of oil or grease and it's not going to lay down. Like, it's going to lift. And you got to remember, lace ain't going to stay forever. You're going to sweat, you're going to get oily, and it's going to lift. So this will last you a good week, depending on your body and how much you sweat. That's just up to you, you know? Well, it's not really up to you. It's up to your body. So...
So this is the hair and it's natural state. I just washed it, didn't put nothing on here. And you can wear it this way if you like these type of curls. You know, just fix it up, straighten out your part. Or you can wear it the wet way. But I actually like the wild look. So, you know, it's really lightweight. And for real, you don't even have to glue it down. Like the clips and stuff is enough. And if you crisscross the bands at the back, it's going to give you a real tight fit. Like, the tightness is amazing. So if you have a small, medium-sized head, it's going to fit perfect. If you have a big-sized head, don't use the um, elastic bands at the back. Just put it on regular. Because this is, I think this is like a medium, large cap. And I have a small head, and it still fits snug for me. So I'm just going to be honest, this hair has passed all my tests, the shedding tests, the curl pattern tests, like if it reverts back, if 